What's going on? It's your boy Simply T with Speak Life Radio on GorillaCross.com and Power 88 FM. And I'm sitting here with my man Jay Givens. And we're here to talk about the Southern Lights Tour taking place March 14th at Valley Bible Fellowship. What's up with you, man? What up? Welcome to the Kingdom Lounge, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hey, you know, I, I'm feeling the digs. So we, we got the, the disco lights, you it's know, we got the ambiance. It's a little bit of pleather, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it does what it needs to do. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Southern Lights Tour. And you're on the roster with my man Alex Faith. Yes. Dre Murray, John Gibbs Kid. Um, for the people who aren't familiar with these particular artists, let them know a little bit about them. About them. Well, um, well, Kid is uh, my fellow uh, Las Vegas tonight. I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> but um, you know that's the that's the that's the little homie. Um, uh, met him three years ago yeah. when he put out his mixtape. We started around the same, probably in the same week. Yeah, and so yeah. just to come up with him and see everything that he's doing on Infiltrate um, Records and stuff is awesome. Um, album phenomenal. John Gibbs, that's my cousin. Yeah, uh, <laughs> is that confirmed? I, I know it, it was out there. You know, you guys had to do some lineage. It, it was. It, we're, we're doing lineage research. Genea genealogy. I talked talk to his dad, <laughs> um, and then he actually talked to my dad, and so we're trying to link our dads together. Yeah, we found yeah. out. Um, uh, where in the where in the south that they're from because yeah. we're from Atlanta, North Carolina, Tennessee on my dad's side, and so trying to link those two. But there's not many Gibbons yeah. in Southern California, and yeah. our family's really big. So, I mean, the only other ones are white. John's not white. Nah, nah, he's definitely, he's definitely not white. <laughs> he's definitely not white. No, he's right. not white. Right. Um, and then there's um, speaking of white, there's uh, Alex Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Faith is the homie. Um, I got a chance to meet him. What was it about? Probably about six months ago, yeah. six or seven months ago, for the first time in San Diego, he was doing a show out there. Yeah, um, awesome. You know, I loved his mixtape from the, from I mean, from honest to God, from the very beginning, yeah. it got popped out of nowhere, and it's been great. So that dude is dope. I'm excited to be with him, and then of course Dre, uh, West Coast Weekends Part yeah. Two, pretty much. He, yeah. it was it was a blast. Um, he, John, and I actually uh, to follow up on the LBNB tour, we did a, a another conjoined kind of tour uh, with the with the Southern California area, and so he came here and stayed in Vegas, and so I'm really excited to just have a blast and praise God. And the fellowship is ridiculously phenomenal with those guys. So we're gonna get back to more about the Southern Lights tour, but let's talk about man Jay Givens. You know, you got a lot of stuff in the fire, a lot of coals in the fire. Let's talk about LV Envy. How has this project is blown up? You know, it's, to me, it's blown up. Blown up? It's blown up. It's getting a lot of critical acclaim, like I thought it would. What's been like the response from your own personal viewpoint? How 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 has that response been for you? Oh, uh, this response has been amazing. Yeah. Um, one, I would say that um, I'm excited to the fact that everything that God said He was gonna do with it, He didn't tell me all the details. Yeah. You know, He's He's a little clandestine, but uh, but the general picture, He did that and much more than what I could even imagine. Um, this al album was pretty much a culmination of, of of kind of like I guess my music ministry and why I even do music. Um, in Las Vegas and why I even live here. Yeah. Um, I knew back in 2010 when I started uh, that it would get to a point where I would be able to put our city on a platform to where people were asking, what's Vegas? Like, there are Christians there? What, what's going on? And really asking what our story is. And so with LBNB, I was granted the opportunity to just watch God do that and to see um, all of the pieces work. And so, I mean, I got to do a lot. I got to work with um, a lot of awesome producers uh, that I'm just really fond of um, in the style. Got to got to learn things about imagery and take on some of those uh, advice tips that I was getting from mentors as far as artistry. And so I got to really give people what I had been what was swirling in my head for like, you know, a year after, say, Occupy, it was exciting. I mean, the response has been amazing. The videos, uh, we just did one uh, for Beyond New, uh, just released two weeks ago, Christian Padron's project, project. Check that out on YouTube. Yeah, check it on YouTube. Front runner for video of the year. That's just my, you know. Thanks, man. My opinion. where you can see. I'm a little biased, but hey, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got to do an artistic um, Spike Lee homage, which, yeah. um, you know, me being an African-American, that 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 dolly shot though. Like, I've always been that dolly <laughs> shot. I've always wanted to do that, and um and so it just everything's been working out. We're working on a video. Um, actually, we're, we'll be shooting two new videos all in one weekend. Mm. Next weekend, so we'll get two more, and then maybe some more, or maybe I'll move on to something outside of. So and your style, you can tell your style has definitely evolved from Run to LVN. I mean, you see the progression from Run to Occupy Mondays to LVN. You, you know your 
on the incline? That, like, uh, like, like, what, what direction do you feel? Do you mean like stylistically as like, far as sound? As, style, style, stylistically as far as sound, mm -hmm. as far as the message you want to convey, mm -hmm. and how, how you want to convey it. You know? Okay, I, I would definitely say that I, I feel very comfortable. Um, at this point, um, I had a uh, my mentor had told me, he said, you know, he said, he had reprimanded me about some uh, social media faux pas that I did. And he was like, hey, you're not a rookie anymore. Don't do that. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not a rookie no more. All right. So I, I feel comfortable now in the style and the and the brand that I built for the next phase. Yeah. So I would say that I'm very happy about being able to paint more pictures. Yeah. Um, the kind of lyrical exercise and in that progression, I was really working hard to find my style and, and get good at the craft um, itself mechanically as quickly as possible, so that I could kind of convey ideas a little more professionally on the yeah. microphone. So rhyme scheme and patterns and all that stuff, styles. I was just writing every night and all the time practicing, 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 practicing. that they did on Razzilla. Yeah. Um, but this is what happened. Mm. We get the remix and um, and so I, I, instantly me and John are excited. Um, you know, we're, we're yeah. really close and all of us are really close even socially. Like we, yeah. we're in text messaging. We all contact each other every day as brothers. So it's, it's definitely, I would like for people to understand that all these collaborations and stuff are not like, Oh, let me get on this song. Like we're actually friends. Yeah. And so, um, and so, so I was excited. I hit up John. I'm like, dude, you get that email? Like, mm -hmm. we're gonna be on the remix. He's like, yeah, you know. So I'm like, dude, we gotta kill it. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, cool. So, um, so we do our verses, and then I, 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 I was, I was the last one actually, um, to send my verse, which. I mean, first off, Alex tries to make it seem like we had four weeks or something, and it was yeah. like a matter of like maybe a week. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and he yeah. also makes it seem the real like, story goes like out. Yeah. And he also was like, "We're working on a tour. We're doing this as if we're sitting around yeah. just writing verses." Yeah. But no, I love Alex. But um, but on some hip hop stuff. So, <laughs> so I so I sent I sent the verse to Alex, and I was in LA, and I and I called him. And I said, "Hey, man, I'm gonna send you this verse." Uh, gotcha. Hey, what up out there? This is your boy Jay Gibbons, and I'm at the Kingdom Lounge. You can go to Kingdom Wear Production, check out anything you want to know about my Kingdom Wear fam. Peace. If you're feeling the gear, be sure to check out KingdomWearProductions.com for more information on Christ Center Clothing and upcoming events such as the Southern Lights Tour and Cub K Dub coming in spring 2014. It is going down. All the information you need to know on KingdomWearProductions.com.